I fell in love um, in the way of my particular kind of conscious feminist lesbian. Uh, I don't believe in monogamy. I do not believe in marriage. But when I fell in love with Alex, day at a time, one day at a time, I was ready to go with this girl. Um, and the only difficulty we really had uh, was that she wanted children. I can't have kids. I'm very, very phobic about what happens to survivors of, of abuse who have kids. You know, but time marches on in your body. And Alex finally reached a point where she says, we need to really look at this. If you really can't have children, I won't have children. It took me a year to decide that I could get past being so angry at the world that I could think about it. So the point at which I said, all right, let's, let's look at this making a baby. What do we need? We need a man. Um, and in 91, we're like, where do we find a man uh, that we can like, <laughs> a trustworthy man that can be the father to our child. So we were like canvassing. We investigated, you know, anonymous um, donor things. And I can't do that. I never knew my stepfather. I just don't believe in it. I wanted to find a healthy, emotionally mature gay man who could deal with two rather difficult, outrageous lesbians and make a commitment to being in our child's life. And at the same time, being a primarily um, feminist man who would give us all the power. Lesbians don't give it up too easily to gay men. And Bo is laughing at me and he says, I got one for you. I'll give you Dan, his lover Dan. Um, and I'm like, oh yeah, you're going to give me your lover. And he says, Dan is great. Dan would be a great daddy. Take Dan. The casualness with which we did it is to a large extent reflective of my whole life as an organizer. You do enormous things on impulse or with, you know, you've got, you basically know who you are and you just do them. You don't really know all the permutations of what's going to happen. So Dan became the father of our son, and we had made an agreement that he would be in Wolf's life. I just didn't want, I didn't want my boy to go through what I went through, which is father becoming this mysterious, unknown source of anxiety. Um, maybe we could do something extraordinarily different. Instead of just being a lesbian couple and a gay daddy donor who comes occasionally, maybe we could start living together and being a little bit more structured about it. We've lived together now a year. We're an extended queer family. Um, we have structured our lives so that we are forcing the world to recognize that this is real. We are as much a family as, you know, Ozzy and Harriet and David and whatever. Uh, it's just Alex and Wolf and Dan and Dorothy. Wolf goes to school and the three of us go to parent-teacher meetings and he's always saying to people, it's so wonderful having two moms. How unfortunate that you only have one. <laughs>